Hello YouTube. Today I have a special treat for you. Um, this is going to be uh, a part one in a series I'm going to call uh, Building the Ultimate uh, 2000, Early 2000s Entertainment Center. And this is the centerpiece of the, of the show. What we have here is a Craigslist free score of epic proportions. A Sony Vega Trinitron HD tube television, flat screen, capable of up to 1080i. Um, it will also do some minor upscaling of analog inputs uh, to make just an absolutely beautiful picture even for uh, um, as I'm going to show you in a little bit I got a, my PlayStation 2 hooked up to this thing and uh, the difference between the tube television I had previously and this thing is just it's stupid um, I, I absolutely cannot believe that somebody actually gave this television away in the condition that it's in I'd also like to state how unbelievably heavy this son of a bitch is. Uh, it's almost 200 pounds and uh, uh, myself and a friend went and picked it up. We had to bring it down a flight of stairs uh, to get it out of the house and then drove it back here and bring it back up a flight of stairs to get it into my apartment. Um, it is in two halves, the television and then the base down low is just uh, like a particle board that's laminated. Um, but this is how it was sold, um, and it's all supposed to be, you know, one unit like this. Now, this television came in almost perfect condition. There are a couple minor blemishes um, on the uh, on the base. It's got a couple nicks, but you know, right there, it's got a couple little little marks um, the worst of it unfortunately is there is this line in it it was like that uh, when I got it um, but it's just in this bezel and hell maybe one day I'll find a new bezel for it but um, considering that it's you know this was a 2001 2002 television uh, it's 15 years old that's not too bad now this is a very special television for a couple reasons. A, this is in the 4x3 aspect ratio. So, um, retro gaming, which I'm very uh, a big fan of, and one of the reasons why I have this television um, is because all the old consoles are in the 4x3 aspect ratio, and they will all look much better in the full screen of the television. Um, rather than a, your traditional 16 by 9 but this television also is smart to when it senses that one of the components is hooked up it will scale the picture to the 16 by 9 um, aspect ratio um, and it does an awesome job with the DVD slash VHS player I have hooked up to it playing DVDs they, they look great on this thing too um, let's go around the back and show you why the score that I got with the Sony stereo with all of the cables and all of the manuals is so important this the Sony stereo system when it comes to this television because believe it or not these are designed to work together and they even have a special cable that uh, allows that to happen now, if we come around, oh, you know, let me grab a flashlight here. Now, if we go around back to the inputs, we can see that this thing has a lot of uh, input capability. Um, we have, let's see if I can squeeze back here. <sighs> All right, we have two, come on, focus, please. Two component ends. One right now I have just hooked up to the uh, the DVD player because the DVD player actually outputs in component. 
um, and uh, we have your standard uh, aux in converter and even your standard old school UHF VHF um, this is where things get good there is control s in and out and there's a very uh that's the, the cable that will be connecting to the uh stereo receiver um now we also have five traditional analogs four on the back and then one on the uh front behind uh the flip door we have an audio out to the stereo receiver oops sorry and also monitor out um, which is going to be a part of this cable that has the control wire built in with it which is going to be really really cool we're going to have some fun with that as well um, two S videos as well and then if we come up here we also have DVI HD TV in so um, we can connect a uh, computer up to this if we want or we can get a uh, an, a DVI to uh, HD t or HDMI uh, converter cable from uh, you know Best Buy or something like that and then hook up traditional uh, HDMI cables to this television and be able to watch them in 1080i um, which is not bad considering this is a tube television again um, now, our information label here shows that this television was made in February of 2003. Um, the model number, for those that like to uh, look those kinds of things up and see the technical specs, you can pause the video and take a look at that, the KV32HS500. Um, I've spent a lot of time researching that just to see all the features. Um, and then we're going to go back around the front here and talk about one of the features of this television that I unfortunately cannot display right now due to the fact that it did not come with a remote. Um, some of you might be familiar with picture-in-picture. Uh, -picture. Um, this television, uh, Sony came up with uh, what they thought was going to be a better version of picture-in-picture, -picture, um, which is what they call... Uh, the TV split mode where they will actually have two squares on each side of the um, of the television they'll actually evenly split it um, and then you can use the joystick on the remote to increase or decrease the size of either um, box so you can uh, you know give preference to whatever you're watching um, but I have to have the damn remote in order to access that um, feature uh, I can't do it through the menu um, I've been looking on eBay and then this is that button that I'm talking about right now the TV switch or the the the, the this, there's uh, I forget the name of it off the top of my head now but without this remote I can't do nothing um, eBay's got them listed anywhere from five to fifteen bucks so that's what I'm going to wind up doing is getting one of those. Um, but uh, for now, uh, we're just going to go over the basics with the television. Now, when I'm talking about this thing here, this thing is packed full of features. I guess uh, some early camcorders and uh, cameras from Sony use this, what they called the Magic Gate memory stick. So you could take your um, your your photos and your videos and plug them in your memory stick into this little fancy thing here, and uh, it would uh, recognize that it's in there and put your videos up, and you could play with them through the uh, remote ski. But we cannot do that right now, sadly. I do not have a Sony camera or anything that takes this thing anyway, so that'll have to wait, but another very cool feature. Now this has True Surround by SRS. This actually has a subwoofer built into this thing right behind this open part of the uh, back of the television, and this is a, a, a rather 
large subwoofer if I can yeah you know, we can kind of see the speaker in there the sound that this thing outputs is, is amazing as well um, that's probably why this thing weighs as much as it does or one of the contributing factors anyway that's got to be a six inch subwoofer <laughs> in the back of the damn television um, right now I have this dual DVD I'm trying to get some good light here for you I apologize DVD VHS player hooked up now the VHS player is in analog and the DVD player is in composite and it has both sets of those cables on the back of it um, for consoles right now I have my GameCube and uh, PlayStation 2 hooked up and we're going to use the PlayStation 2 in a second here to demonstrate the uh, picture quality and uh, audio that comes out of this thing it's absolutely beautiful um, but before we do that I want to quickly touch on that control system that I was talking about and the receiver and everything um, Sony has what they dubbed the control a1 2 or control system and this cable that uh, is the monitor slash control cable has your traditional uh, component I'm sorry composite um, but it also has this um, control cable built into it as well so this cable goes to that um, those plugs I was showing you on the back of the television here and they actually connect to the back of this receiver and all of its glorious input and output now we have the control we can focus here the control a12 right there and we also have uh, video in and uh, your audio as well uh, S video everything along those lines you have um, up here where you would actually you can hook up your your television is what we're going to be doing on the end TV slash satellite audio in out video in and then our control s status in um, as well and there is one more connection that we're going to take advantage of underneath it that says monitor yes we are going to hook up a uh, computer monitor to this thing as well to uh, give us uh, I'm hoping it's more than just whatever the television signal is maybe it'll give us um, some display some stats or something really cool um, but uh, you know that'll be later down the road but the fact that all of this has just seemed to come together is just uh, fantastic they, they, I mean these are both absolutely top of the line um, products for their day from Sony um, this the stereo system from this is gonna be from I think they first came out with the receiver model in late 99 so this is probably 2000 2001 as far as the system goes and then 2003 with the uh, with the, the Sony Trinitron so that's just gonna be fantastic and then don't forget we still have the TV wonder card that we're gonna be hooking up uh, once I can resurrect one of these things um, it's gonna be this one here on the end this compact is a uh, is a Windows 7 machine um, these are all AMD's but uh, this is the newest and it has a nice PCI Express card that we can or slot that I can take advantage of as well um, I just got to get the caps so I'll probably order the capacitors for this thing at the same time I order the remote um, but uh, yeah I can't believe this you know Craigslist free section is 99 percent people just trying to get rid of garbage and have somebody to come pick it up for free because the garbage company won't do it <laughs> um, but uh, every once in a while uh, you, you'll find a gem like this thing uh, so that's another place where you know always keep an eye out it doesn't hurt to, to flip the section open and, and browse through your local area and see 
if uh, something like this might come up. All right, so uh, the only thing that's missing is obviously I need to get some Sony, some proper Sony speakers um, and a cabinet for this thing. Um, I have the surround, I have the other two surround speakers in the box there. Um, so I just need some, you know, some regular tall ones that I can put on the sides of the television. We'll have a cabinet for that. And then uh, we'll be well on our way to the ultimate uh, early 2000s entertainment center. I can relive my teens all over again, or my late teens by that point. But um, anyways, thanks for watching, guys, uh, and uh, stay tuned. I almost forgot to give you a proper display of this beauty. Uh, silly me. So, what we're going to do is... Um, I have right now the television also hooked up with the uh, stereo just kind of crudely. I'm going to turn the volume down uh, all the way and we're going to hear just the, um, just the television. And then we're going to crank up the volume on the uh, amplifier and hear what it sounds like with just that center speaker hooked up. So you can even see inside this... Uh, 300 disc player that uh, is ready to go and it wants some CDs in it <laughs> All right, I believe video one is where we want to be And uh, I love this remote and I love this stereo for this simple reason I mean, it's the little things in life that matter watch this All right, I got the remote here. I'm gonna hit uh, We're gonna do the master volume And it's really the little things in life that matter We'll turn it up all the way, and then we'll turn it back down. You know, today's youth just don't understand these kind of joys. You know, it's meaningless. It doesn't have to turn, but it does. And I'm not touching it. How cool is that shit? <laughs> okay, enough of that. It's all the way down. Turn on the PlayStation here. Open up our little tray. Give this thing some volume. Hopefully the copyright police don't come after me. We can use this stereo remote to do basic features on here. Like I can go to TV and I can control. Oh, I should be able to. Oh, it, it worked yesterday. <laughs> coming through uh, it's you don't get televisions that sound like this anymore This iPhone does not do this thing justice at all compared to what this normally looks like on a just a standard tube television um, is is just it destroys it in every fashion 
Um, the audio is superior. The video is superior. There's no input lag on any kind of tube television. Your controls are instant. Um, it's it's a shame that you know this kind of thing had to die out, but uh, in a sense, it's a good thing too because they are fuck all heavy. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, I, I cannot believe that uh, something like this was just given away. Especially in the condition it's in. I could probably just turn around and flip this for a hundred bucks. But absolutely not. <laughs> Alright, this video's run long enough. Uh, stay tuned. Uh, hopefully the next time uh, we'll be doing this video, I'll have uh, some good speakers um, and a proper uh, cabinet for this stereo. Um, and then everything wired up. And then... We'll work on doing the monitor, the computer monitor for the system, and also having the computer and the TV Wonder card hooked up to it. And then uh, we'll get some more retro consoles and fantastic. All right, guys, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, that do take an interest in things that I like. Um, and I love televisions, as you can see. I got, uh, you know, my television I got two more over there and then I got this thing and then I got uh, this this NEC monitor is freaking awesome uh, it even has BNC connections on the back for RGB this thing weighs like 60 pounds 70 pounds um, and it's huge I have nowhere to put it but I can't throw it out because this is actually is a high quality monitor if it wasn't so big and heavy I would use it um, with that set up over there but uh instead i have the perfect little guy i'll just have to get uh, a converter box but this tiny little dell have that sitting on top of the cabinet and having it doing its thing oh man it's gonna be absolutely beautiful uh all right guys thanks for watching take care have a good one